Hello folks, welcome to Lester's Custom Truck Shop. Sean C. in Maryland. This is your Lescom Custom 959. And you can see the wires are not tied up. Just got the SX350 connected and uh, tested it out. There's your dual finals. You have a single uh, IRL 520 and dual IRL 520 finals. There is the barrel connectors I've been telling everybody about. They're half barrels. And I put uh, uh, this insulation over them, the heat shrink, once I get them soldered. But as you can see, not only do I crimp them together, I also fill them with solder. Okay, that means that the connection is never going to uh, waver. Okay. All right. More to come. Okay. Uh, I'm back. Got the heat shrink down over the half barrel connectors. And see that little relay right there? That's what turns your amplifier on and off with what used to be the Roger Beep switch is now the amp control switch. And uh, that's black hot glue you see on there to keep things protected and keep it from moving around. I believe you wanted the big rig option on yours. Uh, there's some more of the hot glue to keep the board steady and uh, make sure things don't come unplugged. Okay. Uh, the Receiver upgrade's been done. There's your uh, uh, 15 kilohertz 10.7 IO filter. Uh, the stock filter is 25 kilohertz wide. This one is narrower, which uh, helps with the bleed over. Okay, I've already showed you the finals. All the new radios come with the shot keys, so you don't need to do that. They also come with the upgraded voltage regulator and AM regulator power regulator that is. Uh, there's your upgraded capacitors 4700 microfarad for the voltage regulator uh, 4700 microfarad for the input buffer and also there is your 10 amp protection diode Okay, takes the place of the 1 amp that was in there before and of course you have the uh, the big power cords big heavy duty pigtail coming out of the back of the radio there's the uh, the fuse pretty heavy duty stuff um, and like I told you before I'm using the pyramid PS 36 KX and it uh, doesn't have enough amps to support this amplifier it has four 7530s in it. Uh, I'll show you the inside of it here on the next clip. Okay. Just wanted to show you all the wires all nice and neat. There's your uh, LC5304NX. Okay. Okay. I'll be back. A few folks asked to see the inside of the SX350. It's basically two uh, SX-175s uh, combined into one. We have four of the uh, 7530s. Okay. That's what the inside of that looks like. All right, I'll be back. Hello, folks. Welcome to Lester's Custom Truck Shop. Sean in Maryland. This is your Custom 959. Okay. A new feature that I want to demonstrate is the amp on off switch. The old uh, Roger Beep is gone. And this switch here now controls your amplifier. Okay push on push off with the amp working 
the amp light is on. Okay, let's demonstrate that. Right now the amp is off. And we are in lower side band. RF power is all the way up. And turn on the multiplier. Meter on the left is RMS. Meter on the right is peak. They both have 100 watt slugs in them. Uh, the meter on the right is on the times 5 multiplier, which means we're reading in that middle scale there. The top number is 500. Okay, audio 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, audio. So without the amp on, we're running about uh, a little over 50 watts, almost 60 watts peak. And uh, let's see, audio. What is that? Almost uh, 40 watts average okay now I'm going to switch to AM we're dead keying about uh, 20 watts audio 1 2 3 4 5 5 4 3 2 1 and about 80 watts peak okay now that's what RF power all the way up now then I just turn the amp on. We're dead keying about uh, 83, 83, 84 watts. And uh, peak is, uh, well, you can see where peak is. Audio 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And yes, that was the lights on my workbench dimming. <laughs> uh, I'm going to switch to sideband. I have powers all the way up. Audio one two three four five five four three two one. Okay, well that pretty much speaks for itself. Okay, but now you do have the option to cut the amp off and just run off the radio. Okay. All right, squelch scan. Squelch the radio. To the right is scan up. To the left is scan down. When the squelch opens, it will slow the scan rate and show you which frequency you're on. Okay, with the squelch closed, it continues scanning. All right, now you don't have to do that squelch thing manually. I was just showing you what happens. Uh, once you set the squelch and it picks up a signal, the signal will open the squelch for you and stop the scan on that channel. And there's about a 500 millisecond wait time once the squelch closes again before it takes off scanning. Uh, that's roughly a half a second. All right, now to change bands, you move this switch all the way over to the right. You see the C in there changed to a, a large C. That indicates you're on channel or band C, channel 37. Okay, we're now on band D, channel 82. Band E, channel 27. And back around to B. That's your lowest frequency right there. Okay, and. I want to go back to E. And that's not your highest channel. I've got to go in and adjust that. That should be 28605. But I forgot to set up the, uh, the tri-state. So I'll do that right here in a second. I'll okay. be back. Band E14 F59. That's your highest frequency. Lowest frequency, highest frequency. Okay? It was just a simple adjustment for VR1. I just forgot to do it. So now I get to go back in there and realign it again because the top frequency I thought I was at, I was not at the top frequency. So 
anyway I'll take care of that and uh, get it all box boxed up and shipped out Sean I hope you enjoy your radio it was my pleasure to build it for you 73s okay give you a little sample to receive band is noisy let's see what we can find on the international call frequency What's going on up there tonight? It's getting pretty late, so you want to catch distance skip. Usually I have to do that in the morning. The neighbor down the street's talking on AM. Just not much on there tonight. Let's see if I can find where he's at. Well, anyway, a lot more stations on during the daytime. All I'm getting now is a transformer noise, static. But there you go. All right, I'll be back.